Ever laid eyes on a lizard so eerie? It seems to have leaped straight out of a horror film, with spines sharp enough to send shivers down your spine. Or perhaps a fish so menacing with its enormous teeth that it needs sheaths just to contain them. If these creatures are unfamiliar to you, today's your chance to embark on a spine-tingling adventure. In this video, we'll explore the most hair-raising animals our planet has to offer. With each revelation, the intrigue and terror will only intensify. So brace yourself for a thrilling expedition. Thorny Devil It feels as if the thorny devil has just come off the screen of some horror movie about an incredibly dangerous alien. The photos of the animal, which are usually depicted among the red and yellow sands, make the thorny devil look like a very creepy creature. All those sharp spines and unfriendly facial expressions make us fear the thorny devil. Although it does look frightening, the animal itself poses no threat to humans. At most, the thorny devil can shoot liquid from its eyes if it senses danger, but even this scenario is unlikely because this way the thorny devil defends itself not from people, but from its natural enemies, monitor lizards and predatory birds. By the way, the thorny devil lives in Australia, where it lives in the sandy deserts and semi-deserts of the central and western parts of the continent. The epic photos are from there. So far, there are only harmless, creepy creatures in this video. So, I should fix that. Stay tuned to see a huge spider that attacks anyone who poses a danger to it. Also, you'll learn about the creepy shark and see the most frightening and most to-the-ocean creatures you definitely shouldn't encounter. Let's move on. Star-Nosed Mole Here comes another creepy underground creature. The star-nosed mole looks like some kind of alien creature. At least its face is very, very strange and even creepy. It reminds me a little of the Demogorgon of the Stranger Things TV series, doesn't it? It had creepy gross on its face that opened up too, but unlike the Demogorgon, the star-nosed mole is harmless. The outgrowths on its snout are appendages. They represent the organ of touch, a phenomenal organ by the way. Scientists unanimously declare that the star-nosed mole outgrowths are the best organ of touch among all animals on the planet. With the help of this star on its muzzle, the star-nosed moles can touch many different objects at the same time and even sniff well underwater, and generally, star-nosed moles live in eastern North America. Star-nosed moles look for prey in the water, underground, and on the surface. Their food consists mainly of earthworms, insects, and their larvae. Sometimes they eat crustaceans and small fish. Naked Mole Rat the naked mole rat is a very frightening creature, long protruding teeth, tiny eyes, a thin whip-like tail, and an elongated bald body. Not the coolest combination, right, if you see a naked mole rat. You can get pretty scared because the lack of hair cover on these rodents is just scary to look at. It may seem that such a terrible monster is a predator that's ready to pounce on anyone who appears at the wrong place at the wrong time, but this isn't true. The naked mole rat is a rodent, and it's harmless. These strange and creepy creatures live in East Africa, where they lead an underground life and almost never appear on the surface. By the way, this is the reason for their unusual and repulsive appearance. Apparently, nature has decided that the naked mole rat has suffered enough and has decided to compensate its creepy appearance with a phenomenal life expectancy. These creatures can live up to 30 years. This is many times longer than the lifespan of other rodents of similar size. Goliath Birdiator Many people hate spiders, and quite a few people literally panic at the sight of these arthropods. They panic even at the sight of small spiders. It's frightening to imagine what would happen to an arachnophobe if they suddenly found themselves next to this. Meet the Goliath Bird Eater, one of the creepiest spiders in the world. It's creepy for several reasons. First of all, it looks unpleasant on its own. Secondly, this particular spider is considered the largest on the entire planet. The photos of the Goliath bird eater on which it's near, or on the human hand, are striking. You can see the spider is unrealistically huge. The biggest individual of this species was discovered by scientists in Venezuela in 1965. The span of its legs reached 28 centimeters, for which it was included in the Guinness Book of Records. 
If you're scared to death of stumbling upon this giant, then travel to South America is out of the question, because that's where these monsters live. Goliath bird eaters live in burrows, the entrances of which are covered with web. Unlike many other large but harmless spiders, Goliath bird eaters shoot their hairs at any object that poses a danger to them. It can also bite a person, but fortunately the bite is not fatal. The maximum consequences of a Goliath bird eater's bite are nausea and profuse sweating. Giant isopods. What could be scarier than the Goliath bird eater? In fact, there are many animals more terrifying than this spider. Take the giant isopods, for example. They're arthropods too, but they all live on land. They live in the ocean. Giant isopods are crustaceans, and they're scary. No, really, you wouldn't want to come across one while swimming in the ocean, especially taking into account that adult giant isopods grow up to 15 centimeters in length, and exceptionally huge species grow up to 50 centimeters in length, and the record breaker was 76 centimeters long and weighed 1.7 kilograms. You could be really scared if you face this arthropod in the ocean. Fortunately, everything will end with a fright because despite their appearance, giant isopods are not a threat to humans. Besides, they live in great depths, so the chances that you'll meet one of these arthropods bathing at the resort are extremely small. Basking Shark not without reason the basking shark is called the giant shark in some countries because the length of males of this species reaches 9 meters and the length females reaches 9.8 meters impressive, isn't it? But this isn't the limit. It's believed that in the world there are unstubbied individuals of this species, which are up to 15 meters long. The huge size of the basking sharks is already terrifying, but what's even scarier is that these sharks swim with their mouths open. Just imagine that you're swimming in the sea, dive deeper, and you see the shark the size of a three-story building, which swims at you with its mouth open to put it mildly as breathtaking. Fortunately, nature didn't turn the basking shark into the most dangerous creature on the planet. These large creatures are completely harmless. Like whales, they feed only on plankton, krill, and small fish. Basking sharks are not aggressive and even allow divers to get close to them. The only thing not recommended to do is touching the basking shark. No, it won't attack you, but you can cut yourself badly because the basking shark has very sharp scales. Common Fangtooth Unlike the basking shark, the common fangtooth is quite dangerous because it bears the proud title of predator. Despite the fact that it reaches only 18 centimeters in length and weighs no more than 120 grams, it's enough to pose a threat to other fish and to be one of the most frightening creatures on the planet. Its structure and body peculiarities make it frightening. The common fangtooth has a very small tail and trunk and an overly large head, as well as massive sharp fangs. It's these fangs that instill terror because they're so long that when the common fangtooth closes its jaw, its lower pair of teeth are placed in special sheaths on either side of its brain. So as to not cut it, the common fangtooth inhabits tropical, subtropical, and temperate waters of all oceans. Adults feed on crustaceans, small fish, and squid. If you're afraid that the common fangtooth does not mind eating people, then don't worry. These creatures, though creepy, but live very far from the surface, at depths of 500 to 5,000 meters black dragon. In about the same places where the common fangtooth live, the black dragon lives. This is another deep-sea scary fish that can frighten people with its appearance. The black dragon is considered one of the scariest fish in the world, and for good reason. The black dragon boasts both creepy appearance and unusual features. First and foremost, it's worth noting that the black dragon can produce light by means of photophores located in its body, under its eyes, and at the tips of its spike on its chin. They act as a deterrent to predators or as a bait to attract small prey, which the black dragon devours using its huge jagged fangs. The black dragon is voracious and can swallow prey larger than its head. Special jaws and head bones, as well as distended stomach, help the black dragons do it. Another interesting feature of this predator is that during the swallowing of food, 
Its internal organs are away from the mouth cavity and are not damaged by the hard parts of the victim's body. By the way, what I've just told you applies only to females. The black dragon is an example of sexual dimorphism. The body length of the female dragon reaches 40 centimeters. Females are able to attack prey and defend themselves from predators. Males, on the other hand, reach only 5 centimeters in length. They have no teeth, no spike on the chin, and no functioning intestines. Angler And finally, the leader of this video is the angler, an animal with a truly frightening appearance. Everything in the angler is ugly. Huge toothy mouth, flat body, huge head, small tail, and gray-brown skin covering with convex growths, which makes the angler resemble a flat snag with a pair of bulging eyes. No wonder that this particular fish is often called the creepiest and most frightening creature on the planet. The distinctive feature of the fish is the front part of the dorsal fin, shaped as a fishing rod, with bait hanging down from the head. With this fishing rod, with bait, anglers lure their prey. If you look at the fish under the light in the habitat, you can see how creepy it really is. Because those sharp teeth, disproportionate mouth, and frightening eyes look really scary. It's a good thing the angler lives in deep water and doesn't show up on the surface. We couldn't stand that. What animals from this video impressed or scare you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you later.